Alright, so this will be no surprise that I'm doing this ask about tip because um, you know I'm very good at ideas but quite poor about um, execution. So I had an idea that I would vlog some of the stuff I was doing here really just to keep in touch with everyone, just to let them know what I was doing. And here we are three weeks later and I haven't really done, uh, I haven't really posted any of that stuff in any succinct form. Just um, thought about it, recorded it and then didn't really do anything else. So couple of things. I don't really know what I'm doing, firstly, so uh, manage your expectations. Secondly, um, my camera is new. I got it probably the day or two days before we left and I probably only really had it long enough to charge the battery and that's about it. Um, I'm not particularly happy with the lens that I have on it. I don't think it's got a good range, but Look, needs must. I broke the lens on my other computer, um, my other computer on my other camera, so I was like, I, look, I didn't, I wasn't one hundred percent sure we were going to get to come on this trip, to be honest, because um, I thought, you know, probably going to get COVID and I won't be able to go, and then I will have done all this stuff, I've done all this preparation and not get to go. But the good news is I got COVID at the end of November, so obviously, then I was like, oh shit, it's happening now. I'm really going to be able to go. I'm not going to get COVID and get stuck in at home very sick or whatever. So then I had a lot of things to do in a very short amount of time while I was still in recovery and also while I was changing jobs. So I'm not really great using this camera. Also, I don't really know how to edit a lot of videos together. So um, the editing is going to be uh, dodgy and the transitions are going to be shit. So um, just prepare for that. Also, it's probably going to be shaky and sometimes you're going to think I, why can't you just hold the camera still and the answer is I probably think I am sorry so when it feels like that just close your eyes a little bit until the camera stops shaking and then we'll be fine so here we are the 2023 US vlog starting in Boston so today is the 24th Tuesday the 24th of January we got to America on Jan December 31 on New Year's Eve. We arrived in Boston after well, what felt like an eternity on the plane. Um, it was technically 31 hours. That's what they tell you, you know, from takeoff to landing. But when you figure out all the time you need to spend, like how early you need to get there before the flight takes off, your travel time to the airport, then going through, waiting for your bags, then going through immigration, then getting to your hotel. It's probably closer to 40. And 40 hours is a very long time to be traveling. This time though, I did sleep a little bit on the plane, not a lot, but keep in mind the last two long haul flights, or last four long haul flights I had, um, I probably slept for an hour on one of them. And that is not a lot of sleep on a long haul flight. Um, so yeah, it was a very long flight, but the good news is I didn't cry from flying. So I've really grown as a person. I um, had my panic attack about three days before the flight, which was also better than having it the night before. Having it the night before makes your face puffy and unreasonable the next day. So that was also good. I did cry on the plane though, because I watched the um, Detroit Lions Hard Knocks um, doco series well only four of the five videos because when I got on the second flight they didn't have the series on there so I didn't get to watch the end of it which is very annoying but I cried when I watched um, some parts of those episodes it was very sad I got very emotionally invested in the lines and um, yeah anyway sorry I might be I might be converting to the dark side I don't think so the game is still not for me but anyway I was very invested in it but anyway so we got into Boston um, just stayed at a a hotel that wasn't too far from the airport for the first couple of nights um, and then on the first night didn't really do anything because like I said got in you know pretty late in the day like probably four or five o'clock okay so we're in Boston now just kidding we're in Philadelphia but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Boston so on the third I think I talked about this so the winter classic was on the second uh, so on the 3rd we moved hotels, we moved from um, Fenway to Boston Common and um, that afternoon just went for a little bit of a walk around, 
went to walk around Boston Common because, you know, thought it was just a nice park. Like, I think it's the oldest park um, in America, the oldest public park. Um, I thought this would be great, go look around there. This is actually the day that I discovered, um, only, I think, four short days into our holiday, that the um, coat that I bought, the very specific winter coat that was supposed to be okay in light showers, um, I think in moderate, or no, less than moderate rain, but so light showers should have been water resistant, uh, was not because there was a bit of misty rain and <laughs> it just went straight through my jacket, straight through every layer. So this is when I thought, excellent, I've got this huge, a quilt jacket. This is one of those like, you know, puffer wanker jackets. Uh, it comes down to my knees and it is not waterproof or water resistant really at all. A, a single drop will go straight through the whole thing, straight through to my top. So that was a nice surprise. So after we did that, we just went and got, um, so had got some lunch actually, went and got Chinese food. Um, and then mum spent um, some time uh, madly Googling things for my birthday the next day which I thought she was just messing around on her phone but I found out the next day that she was actually having a bit of a freak out about what we were going to do for the day and whether or not I would be um, adequately uh, I don't know amused I don't know if that's the adequately entertained what was the what was the concern here that you wouldn't like what I hoped you would like yeah, yeah. So, anyway, you know, I'm a full-on asshole. So there was a pretty good chance that that was going to happen. That I'd have a bad day and also scream in her face. I've had a terrible day. Thanks for nothing, you monster. And excuse me too. I was also very concerned that I wouldn't be able to find our way to where we needed to go. Oh yeah, that's also true. So, uh, we did organise um, for some. Uh, SIM cards while in Australia that we could mm. use here and then recharge while we were away. Uh, those SIM cards did not work for about a week. And mum, yeah, she was a bit concerned that if we had plans to get around the city that that was going to be challenging because that's usually what I do, usually do the directions and the whatever um, and mum follows along. That's, that's normally what happens. It's my birthday. Anyway, I turned um, very young, 43. Did not feel young, actually. Felt pretty old because it was cold. Um, and we went for a walk. I did not know where we were going, but we went to the Boston Public Library, which was very exciting for me. And I don't know if I filmed anything there or if I only took pictures. And if I only took pictures, I don't know if I know how to put those into videos. So. If I do, I'll put them in here, but I don't reckon I do, so you'll just have to take my word for it. The library was amazing. There's like a great, there's like a great hall slash reading room, and um, oh yeah, I did talk about this. But it might have been in the video that was blurry and garbage. It's hard to know now. Um, yeah, but they had like the green lamps on the table, exactly like you would expect. There was people actually working in there, which was also really nice and not just using... I mean, they were using laptops, of course. It's, it's 2023. But they were reading books. They were using books. And they were just using the space, really, for the way it's supposed to be used. It's like a research centre, a quiet space and whatever. But it's a really beautiful building. Um... Yeah, and that was very, it was very nice actually. And then we just uh, we got some lunch, and um, and then went to and then Mum directed us on another walk past, past uh, out of the library, past the church, past the different the public park that also connects to Boston Common on the other side. And then um, you said. And then actually, you know what? It was while we were having lunch and mum was uh, using the free Wi-Fi at the location to, uh, to confirm our where we were and our next direction. And I said to her, um, are we going to go where everybody knows my name? And she went like this, oh, right, because obviously I'd ruin the surprise. But I mean, it still was a surprise. Whether I found out at the place or before, it's still a surprise, right? Yes. You ruined it. 
Well, it's my birthday, so if I didn't feel like it was ruined, it probably wasn't. I mean, that's facts, right? So we went, uh, we did. We went to the bar that inspired Cheers, and it was very small. Um, I thought it was going to be much bigger than what it was, and it was very small. And then there was kind of this indication that perhaps there was additional space if you went down this hill, there wasn't. It was a little tiny place where you could buy souvenirs. And anyway, we didn't really. We having bought so much winter gear, winter gear, winter weather gear, don't really have a lot of room in our suitcase for souvenirs. That doesn't stop me, by the way. But um, yeah, we did not get anything. And then we got a beer, got a Boston Lager from Samuel Adams Brewery, which uh, it was a nice beer actually. And the guys like, I mean, I guess you guys want to keep the glasses. I did want to keep the glasses, but at this stage, it was like, there's nowhere we can put it. Like, our bags are chock-a-block. Carrying glass at now is going to be real dangerous for everyone involved. So we didn't get to keep the glass, which is, um, you know, a bit sad. But anyway, then we walked back and saw these, like, this cool duck, um, I guess duck statues also in the park. Nice. Which was on mum's list to have a look at. Um, I didn't know they were there anyway. They were super cute. And then, you know, we went and had a look at the pond. And when it's, um, when it's colder there, then that pond freezes over and you can ice skate on it. I think I took some footage there. I mean, you definitely skate at your own risk because there's no actual ice. So, good luck. Um, and then we just kind of just meandered about a bit. Mum was very impressed with herself because she had got us around all day with no incorrect turns. And I thought that was a great effort. Also, it was a good day because even though, um, I mean, I know some of you would be like, wow, you went to a library. That sounds like a fun day. It was. I like libraries. And I like I like the idea of these uh, the, like the big public American ones like just seeing them the visual aspect of it. Anyway, it was pretty nice even from the outside it was. Um, yeah, and then we went uh, we went real fancy for dinner. We went to Panera <laughs> and um, just got like soup and stuff. It was actually it was very nice to have a vegetable soup. So yeah, that's what we did. But it was a great day, you know. Um, it was my birthday and it was a good day. Uh, on the 5th, um, we were going to go to the um, the history trail, the walking trail, oh, yes. and the weather was fucking balls. Uh, look, if it had been snowing, I might have been cool with it because I would have thought, excellent, this is what I'm here for, this is what I anticipate. It wasn't, it was just snowing. I mean, it was just raining. It was just grey, miserable, cold rain. It's like, come on, man, I can get rain in Australia. Anyway... So that was not, it was not a great day. Um, and then we kind of thought, actually, we'll go to a shop and pick up some stuff. We go to the shop. It did not have anything else in it. Yeah, we were, we were going to a Target, right? And I thought, you know what, I'm going to see if they got another coat there. And if they do, I'm going to scrap, I'm going to roll this useless coat up and shove it in the bottom of my bag and get just a, rain, a waterproof raincoat. I don't even care. It's like a big yellow one. Anyway, your mum needed to get a new charging cord and an SD card for a camera. It was not that sort of target where you could buy things like that. It was just a food target. We didn't have food targets, as you guys know. So we're not in, we were not anticipating a, just a food target. Anyway, killed our vibe, to be honest, because by the time we got there, a little bit of up and downhill and uh, in the cold, mum's uh, knees were just hammered actually trying to get back from there because every road coming back was like this and like on cobblestones although they might not be cobblestones someone told us today in philly while we were on a bus tour that um the some of the stones they've got that are made in a particular way they're not cobblestones they're called something else i just always assume that everything that looks like a cobblestone yeah but i just assumed that they were all cobblestone roads so I didn't know that there was any difference. If it was a rock and not a brick, I just assumed it was cobblestone. Anyway, so it wasn't the best day. Um, anyway, it happens. Um, and then the next day we're like, nah, come on. 
let's let's have a good time. So then we went on a that, this is the day that we did a hop on hop off trolley ride um, in uh, Boston Town. Did a bit of a tour around, which is pretty nice. Went to Quincy Market. Um, like we did the tour and you know saw different things. <laughs> Just using my finest china. Oh, this is great. We always like to do a full lap and then decide what to do, but because we kind of got on it a bit later in the day and things are closing up earlier, like the tours will finish a bit early, obviously, because it's just not that's not the custom to support them having longer days. Also, it's dark. Um, we got off a bit early and we, we went to Quincy Market and got some um, lobster roll. We got a lobster roll and some chowder, of course, because we're in Boston. Why not, right? Um, and it was delicious. The chowder was so good. Um, you know, and it comes with those little oyster cracker things. And this is the thing, and I've seen, I watch a lot of American TV, obviously, but I don't know, because I'm used to eating soup with bread, right? I don't know whether you're supposed to eat the crackers, like, while you're eating the soup, or whether you're supposed to put the crackers in the soup. Anyway, I put them in there. It seems okay. I don't know. But I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but that's what I did. Uh, so we just left Quincy Market because we were waiting for rain. And I'm um, great. Oh, Jesus, hell. We've had heaps of rain. Definitely not waiting for more rain. Waiting for snow, which is supposed to be about 3 o'clock. And it was... My mum has been, like, counting down as if it's magically got a pull from an envelope in the sky at 3 o'clock. It did not. At 3... 25-ish, it did start to snow and we stood in the middle of the road in the road waiting at a pedestrian crossing and then like a full ding-dong I actually yelled out oh my god it's happening <laughs> there, were, there wasn't a lot of other people around thank god but I did walk around with my tongue poked out after I caught it on my hands a few times and was like look it's on my hand my gloves actually and then uh, anyway now we're back on the hop on hop off and we're going to do a final circuit of Boston Town. Um, it's been pretty great obviously but we weren't really prepared for the weather um, which is not my, well no that's not true. We were prepared for the weather but I bought it, my jacket I did not, was not prepared and uh, yeah yesterday was an odd day but it has been really beautiful and I can't actually wait to come back in the sunshine and um, go to a baseball game at Fenway and just have a very good time. But anyway, it snowed. It's our last day here. We leave it um, tomorrow morning and it finally snowed. Woohoo! Huzzah! And we had a really great trolley drive actually on the way back who did most of the tour that we'd, you know, that we'd missed in the day and he had a great chat to us and he was talking to us about some hockey things and about um you know his outdoor rink because of course he's got outdoor rink and then he asked us if like we liked hockey because we could skate and we were laughing like 100 percent no cannot skate at all and then um i told him that we have one rink um in our city and it feels like it's quite often in danger of closing down um so, and he laughed because he was like you know there's seven in a he didn't say kilometer with because he wouldn't have used a kilometer reference but something like that they're like seven in this very short thing and even when we were on the trolley we must have drove past i don't know how many just say there's one there's one there's one so anyway it's pretty funny and he was a really nice guy and it was um no it's just good good to see a bit more of um boston but i would like to go back yeah and a bit of sunshine on your face which also i enjoy i've missed having sunshine on my face um and also drinking a cold beer when it's hot because that's great um actually what is funny is whenever we order um coffees we now know to say that we want them hot 
um because people are like you know obviously people ice coffee culture is higher here in the like, most of the states we've been to actually i think um that's just kind of you have to say whether you want it hot or cold but it's funny because i remember i said to my mom like what sort of a lunatic is drinking ice coffee in this weather it is freezing cold but then i remember that i am a lunatic who drinks boiling hot coffee on a 40 degree day so i mean you know and i drink black coffee a lot of the time so it's just boiling hot water on a boiling hot day so i guess it's just what you like isn't it you just put up with it but i would like to go back it was pretty and it was nice and uh everybody seemed quite friendly too would you say that's accurate that boston was pretty friendly boston was great yeah and anytime we said to people that we'd gone to fenway man they were just like they were just and then they wanted to talk more about it because they're like they're pumped about it too they love it and they're also like they're just very that's very boston proud which is nice you know it's nice when people got some very much yeah got some pride in the hometown um but it was nice it was pretty it was friendly um yeah and i would like to go back but like i said probably in the summer and maybe just for a couple of, but not not do like what we're doing now which is like a, like a a lot of places in a you know and some of those in only short periods but just like an extended stay where you get to know your neighborhood and get to know how to work public transfer all of that sort of thing anyway so there it is boston boston town anyway well that's it for that for that trip because then the next day we left on a train to philadelphia all right love you miss you